Heap2, can you handle function pointers? Download the binary here and the source here. Go ahead and launch that instance. I'll go ahead and get that source code. All right, there's win. Win prints the flag. Uh, we have check win. Check win looks like it's going to call the pointer x as if it's a function pointer. I have a function. I sometimes like to call it. Maybe you could change it. Uh, we've got that pico and bico again. Looks like that same ability to write the buffer. Let's see, what's in check win? Oh, check win's gonna just call the function. So that's cool. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on here. We can netcat to this thing. So I can print the heap. So again, I've got that Pico 32 bytes after Pico. I can write to the buffer. So like Pico, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, times four is 32, and do ABCD. And I can print the flag. Now that I can't print the flag, I don't know what I was thinking there. I can print the heap is what I wanted to do. I wanted to write to the buffer. Now I wanted to print the heap. And you'll see I've replaced that. Um, I can print X. I've got that data. So if I print the flag, I'm going to try to call that function, but I need that to um, be the right thing. So if I say like obj dump, oh, I didn't download the binary. I'm going to need the binary. So we'll grab that binary too. Me that. All right, so we need to call the well, we need check win to call win because um, check win is just what's going to happen when I call print flag, right? Print flag is going to call check win. Right, so if I print the flag, it's going to call check win. Check win has that pointer x, which is that same thing. So I need to make that pointer be a pointer to the function win. So I need it to be 4011A0. Um, and I could be able to type that at the command line. So we'll say Python dash C print. Uh, this will be easier in Python 2. Uh, all right, so that's my syntax right. Now I need eight picos followed by the address of win. So that's A0, 11, 40, 0. Okay. Great. And then, we'll, and then we needed to uh, do two first, right? So we need to like write to the buffer. Then we need to do that. And then we need to print the flag. So we'll print two right to the buffer. We'll put our string in that contains the address we want to go to. 
we'll do all that and we'll pipe it to netcat um, right so there's our flag so again what we did there is we said write to buffer we put in the 32 bytes of pico then we in little endian order put the address of win and we said four which is print the flag we sent that all to the server and then it sends us back and down the road we go.